I have not seen a single video on YouTube that's shown any of you how to use clove in any recipe the proper way. But today I'm going to show you how to use cloves correctly for maximum potency. So you can have long, beautiful, voluminous, thick hair. And as you can see here, my natural hair twists and they're super juicy, thick, and beautiful. If you want your hair to look like this, then you need to watch this video. Hey Z-Stars, what's good? In the proverbial hood, it's your girl Zara, popularly known as FXR, and of course I'm back with another video. Now today I'm going to show you how to use cloves properly in any recipe. This is super important so that you could get the most potency out of your use in cloves in your infusions. Now, I don't want to waste your time, so let's get right into the video. But of course, before we do, be sure to thumbs up so YouTube knows you enjoy this kind of content. Be sure also to comment down below. Let me know what methods you think I'm going to employ to get these cloves to be super potent. And last but never ever can be least, please subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you know every time I post a new video. Okay, let's get going. And of course, don't skip the ads so that I could keep my channel extremely sustainable just for you. So in this video, what I'm going to do is show you how to make an infused oil and I'm going to show you how to infuse it properly so that it can be, of course, extremely potent. Before we get into the infusion though, let's get into the ingredients that we're going to employ in this video. So please take a look as we explore these potent herbs. Cloves are the dry flower buds of the Syzygium aromaticum tree and they are packed with beneficial compounds like eugenol which is known for its anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and antioxidant properties. These properties make cloves a powerful ingredient for promoting scalp health and stimulating hair growth. For a comprehensive breakdown of cloves' benefits, as well as the benefits of the other herbs mentioned in this video, please refer to my clove teas on video and the other videos that are going to be linked in a playlist in the top right corner. In this new recipe, I've taken an extra step to enhance the release of these potent constituents, ensuring maximum efficacy in the resulting herbal oil. This meticulous process is often overlooked in the community, but it's the secret to transforming a basic infusion into a deeply potent elixir, making the difference between half an inch or no inches and a full inch of growth. Stay tuned to discover the special technique that I used. So I hope you enjoyed learning about the herbs. Of course, our next step is to formulate. So let's get into this beautiful formula, aka recipe. So I can show you how to make it in the comfort of your very own home. Great, so now I'm going to show you how to make cloves the correct way. So we're going to start with 20 grams of cloves. And of course I'm bringing out my food scale and my beautiful china and weighing everything before we begin the main process. Next, you're going to need rosemary, which is 10 grams. Then following that, you need lavender, which is five grams. And now you need five grams of oregano. Then five grams of moringa. and three grams of hibiscus. So this is where the miracle begins. You're gonna turn on your hot plate and put it at a fairly moderate temperature and you want to put the clothes in the hot plate. What we're going to do is toast the herbs to ensure that they release their herbal constituents. You'll know that the herbal constituents are sufficiently released when you can perceive the scent of the herbs very strongly in whatever space you're in. Now, of course, you don't want to overdo it and you don't want the heat to be too high but they should definitely be nice and crispy without being burnt 
or overcooked. Now we're going to transfer this to my mortar and we're going to use the pestle to grind everything down. You'll know that it's ready because it should be fairly easy to grind and it'll be breaking easily as you're doing it. So now let's move on to the next set of herbs. Now please note that the temperature varies depending on whatever herb you're working with and of course if you're using a powder, the surface area is significantly greater. I'll put some temperatures either in the description box or in the comment section so that you guys have a better idea, but I'm pretty much eyeballing it. And as you can see, I'm doing this with every single herb. Now, of course, I've added everything to my mortar and I'm just grinding it down, grinding it, grinding it, grinding it until I get a coarse powder. And now we're finished. Let's move on to the next step. Unlock the secret to luxurious hair with our ultimate hair growth bundle. Now at 35% off. Struggling with hair that won't grow past your shoulders? Tired of lackluster locks? Whether you're dealing with a TWA, shoulder length hair, or you're at mid back length aiming for new and greater heights, our ultimate hair growth bundle is your key to transformation. Here's what makes our bundle a game changer. The recipe Bible, crafted from years of expertise, this guide offers potent, easy to make hair care recipes recipes that promise to revolutionize not just your hair routine, but the very nature of your hair. Witness unprecedented thickness, shine, and length as you take control of your hair care. The holy grail of hair care products. Perfect for those who prefer ready-to-use solutions, this curated selection of top-tier products aims to streamline your routine and cut through the clutter of product overload. Personalized hair growth calendar. Customized to various hair needs, including porosity and scalp conditions, this calendar removes the guesswork from your hair care, setting you up on a clear path to remarkable results. Comprehensive hair growth planner. Complementing the calendar, this planner helps you document and refine your regimen, ensuring that every step you take is towards healthy here longer hair. Oil Renaissance. Dive deep into the science and art of using hair oils. Understand why they are essential and how to use them to maximize your hair's health and growth. Our Scalp Compendium. Over two years in the making, this extensive guide addresses the root cause of most hair issues, the scalp. With over 160,000 words of cutting-edge research and solutions, it's designed to transform your scalp health fundamentally, setting a strong foundation for hair growth. Act now to secure the bundle at the lowest price it will ever be, complete with ongoing updates. This is a transformative investment in your hair's future. Trust in the journey as countless others have. Check out their rave reviews and see the tangible results just for yourself. Now that we've prepared our herbs, let's get on to the second half of this infusion. Now we're going to start with 350 milliliters of hemp seed oil. Of course, I'm using my trusty Westy Pyrex measuring cup to ensure that this is accurate. Next, I'm preparing my hot plate. I'm adding my pot and adding some water. Turning on my hot plate and adding the double boiler attachment as well as the oil that we're using. Next, I'm adding my herbs. And I'm gently mixing them with the oil to ensure that they're fully submerged. Thank you. 
It's really important to ensure that this doesn't get too hot. So I recommend using a thermometer to ensure it doesn't go beyond about 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Six and a half hours later. Okay, after a few hours, we're taking this off the stove and placing it on the countertop. We're now going to allow it to cool down before we add it to our mason jar. 2,000 years later. Now, while this certainly wasn't 2,000 years later, our oil is sufficiently cool. We're gonna add everything to our mason jar and you could let this infuse for either two to three days or four to six weeks. It depends on what you're trying to achieve. Four to six weeks is indeed a bit extra, but you're going to get an insanely potent oil. We did use heat, so we don't need to do all of that, but you can if you want to. Four to six weeks later. Fantastic. Now we're straining. And if you have to, squeeze the herbs. Wow, look at that dark, rich oil. Isn't it beautiful? Now I'm going to add my vitamin E to prevent it from oxidizing, as well as my essential oil or oils. Now I'm using what I have on hand, which happens to be eucalyptus. You can use whatever you want. Great, now we're going to bottle everything. I'm going to stir this really well to ensure that whatever silt is inside gets into the bottles. Now I did sanitize these, so please do that to ensure that your oil is sanitary and it lasts longer. Remember, you are using this on your body. And as you can see, we've created a really dark, rich, beautiful oil. Doesn't it look great in these dropper bottles? And awesome, now we're finished. Did you enjoy that? I sure hope you did. And I hope you have your oil in hand as we move on to the application process. Now, not only are we going to touch on how to put it in your hair, we're also going to touch on the many usage cases for this particular product. Hey y'all, so let's get into the application of this beautiful clove oil. Now you're just going to generously apply it to your scalp with the dropper, ensuring the dropper does not touch your scalp so that we don't contaminate the oil. Now you're going to gently massage it in, making sure to apply a bit of pressure without tangling your hair at the roots. Now we move on to the clove grease. Now this is a custom made grease, which you may or may not have already seen the video for. It's gonna be linked in the top right corner. I just go in with this right after I go in with my oil. And of course, this is freshly done hair. So now that we've applied our oil, here is how my hair looks. I hope you're seeing the scalp. I hope you're seeing the length. I hope you're seeing the juiciness and I hope you're loving it. So do y'all love my twists? I know they're super juicy. Now I do have a video on this as well, and it's going to be linked in the top right corner, so be sure to check it out after this. Wow, we've made it this far. Of course we have. And if you've made it this far, please drop some blue emojis in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. Of course, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Now, please, before we go, I'd love for you to comment and let me know if you enjoy this format, if you like the way I do my videos, any suggestions you have. I would love for this to be a collaborative effort because at the end of the day, I'm doing this for you. So with that being said, Ta-ta for now. I love you. God bless you. And of course, I'll see you in my next video.